Hi, and welcome to another episode of Dan Frequently Asked Questions. In this episode, the question is, how would a pneumo mediastinum present in terms of signs and symptoms and ultimately treatment? Well, a pneumo mediastinum in the context of diving typically occurs as part of a lung overexpansion injury. In other words, either due to a structural abnormality or due to breath holding of some kind during pressure decrease or ascent, there has been an overexpansion of the alveoli and gas has managed to essentially track through the lungs towards the heart and forming a pocket of foam around the heart. That is a pneumomediastinum. Now, what it may do, depending on the size of the mediastinum, is impair the heart's function. You can imagine uh, an area of gas that essentially prevents the heart from fully expanding would be similar to what we call tamponade. In other words, where one is a stab wound and the sac around the heart fills with blood and as a result the heart is unable to pump. So that is certainly one potential concern. As far as the symptoms are concerned, the person would indicate shortness of breath, probably due to the lung injury, which may coincide with pulmonary uh, pneumothorax, as well as arterial gas embolism. So those additional components may also form part of the pneumomediastinum. But keeping it strictly to your question, one of the symptoms is, or one of the signs in this case, is if you were to put your ear to the person's chest, you would actually hear a crackling sound as the heart beats, which is one of the signs of a pneumomediastinum. The air rarely remains only around the heart and very readily comes up to the neck where it would be subcutaneous emphysema or towards the peritoneum where it would be peritoneal or retroperitoneal emphysema. Either way, it is a condition that needs treatment. Now importantly, in terms of treatment, if the individual has no neurological symptoms as confirmed by a medical practitioner trained in diving medicine and the only presentation of problems is the pneumomediastinum, then the treatment is likely only going to be breathing 100% oxygen probably for the best part of 24 hours on and off. That will allow the predominantly nitrogen in the bubbles to absorb and the pneumomediastinum to uh, coalesce or subside. If there are other symptoms which may include the pneumothorax or arterial gas embolism, then the person may need a chest drain for the sake of the pneumothorax and recompression for the sake of arterial gas embolism. In closing, pneumomediastinum is the most common presentation of a lung overpressure injury, but the treatment, signs, symptoms and ultimate decision of recompression should be made by someone trained in diving medicine or at least a medical practitioner. Very importantly, it is necessary to mention to whoever the medical person or dive medical practitioner is that you have been diving. It may seem obvious as the cause of the injury, but by the time you actually get to see a physician or doctor, you may need to make them aware of the fact that you've been diving. So with that, I'll close this session. Until next time, safe diving.